What is going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Today, you join me and Emma in a dodgy looking car park. Hopefully you've all been enjoying the new year. Hopefully you've been sticking to your new year's resolutions. I know uh, a lot of me people and Emma. that haven't already. I am about seven days deep into the gym. More importantly, I've actually been eating a little bit better as well. So um, just low on the carbs. I don't eat veg. I'm allergic to veg. I can't, honestly, man. I like to go green and shit if I eat veg. Like, <laughs> You're terrible. Disgusting. So yeah, obviously I mentioned previously that Emma owns a 2000 2010 BMW M3. We're sat in it right now. Get Emma to talk about ownership. We get her to go over a bit of the spec and just what it's My been like. My car's to... like a standard M3 to people. You've done the wheels, you've done the brakes, you've done the tints. It's a really nice spec M3, man. I nearly own it. It's so mine. So you're into your balloon payment now, yeah? Mm -hmm. I'm keeping yeah. it. I've decided. I can't. I can't part with this car. They're trying to fob you into an M4 now, don't they? Yeah, they were like, come on, what car do you like? Try this, try that. I was like, no. We're going to step out of the car. Also, I do want to say a massive thank you because we did receive a thousand subscribers. Yeah, it's crazy amount. Yeah, it over so a thousand many. subs. Yeah, yeah. So we're on 7,000 We were like, subs. oh my God. Yeah, yeah. Gaz, <laughs> Gaz. If you're watching from Living Life Fast or if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. And um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. Welcome to Living Life Fast. <laughs> it's not Living Life Fast. No, it is. So it's an E93, isn't it? It's got a convertible. Come on, Emma. We want to hear a little bit of what it's been like, you know. Four litre. Yeah. And 414 brake. How many cylinders? Eight. Eight. <laughs> <laughs> I went to say six. It's yeah. a pretty fast car. Yeah, it's a V8. Yeah. How fast you been in it? Ooh, that's a hard question. <laughs> I reckon it is about. 120, 130. I don't reckon I've gone above that. You don't actually drive it much. So how many miles have you got on the clock? Because you've had it three and a half years. So was this on 100k? It was what? <laughs> so is it on about 100 Oh, that's what I was, I was like, why are you saying 100k? <laughs> it's on uh, 41,000. 41,000. So, yeah. so, so what, what did you buy it on? 21,000. Guys, you... <laughs> so I've had it. You've done 5,000 miles a year. Yeah, <laughs> but you got, got to keep it nice and I've got another car basically, I've got a run around car so mm. I don't need to use it all the time, I want to keep it as nice as I can. Okay, so guys, yeah man, 414 horsepower, it's a V8, the facelift Emma, you've obviously yeah. got your private number plate as well, I think you're balling isn't it, Emma 46X, yeah. I wonder what the value is on that, it'd be interesting, Emma 46X, nice you obviously love the engine sound right? That's the thing, when people say about convertibles, you've got to admit when we've got the roof down mm. and we're out, and you can just hear the car, yeah. it is so fun. Yeah. I actually love this yeah, car. Yeah. I have never, with like finance and stuff, never wanted to keep a car, but I can't. I just can't love it, it back, so yeah. much. And that's because I don't drive it every day. What's petrol like? Ricky always says it's really bad, but I don't think it's bad. But really you're not bad. out in it much though, are you? Yeah, like, maybe you, that's you're at work, why. What, six days a week? Yeah, you and don't I don't even drive work. it to work. Oh yeah, I don't work far from where I live as well, do I? So You've got the 20 inch, oh well, no, the 19. 265, 35. What tires you got? A Michelin Super Sports, Pilot Super Sports. Yeah, yeah. So you've got some you decent tires. Um, to show the calipers. She's had the LLF logo put on. That was done at the auto works. Also the rear ones, you see the rear red caliper. Obviously we had the rules blacked out. She's had the black tints from basically new, ain't you? you I actually tints. got that done straight away, didn't I? Dual clutch transmission, was it seven gears? And then you obviously get the power dome on the bonnet. Gives it that bit of aggression. So you have got Xenons, haven't you? Yeah, but you've got the yellow ring. Yeah, that's the one thing I've been gutted about was the lights because on the on the 320D, what was my lights? You had the LED rings, basically. Yeah. These ones are yellow. So that is a cool mod. If anyone's watching, let me know what we can do with that because Emma really don't I, want I no don't yellow want there. I don't want these lights anymore. I hate them. You've done the calipers, you've done the tints. And uh, do you know, have like, anything in mind? If I keep it, I want to change the colour, I think. Sometimes it looks navy and that's the bit I'm not sure about. Mm. If it was just black, I would be fine. Yeah, it is basically black, isn't it? But I know what you're saying. And it's got a, what is it, Jerez Black or something? Yeah. Know. That's uh, Emma's review. Let's um, <laughs> jump out and take it for a spin. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, some more. <laughs> oh, did you hear that? <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> oh, I wanted to do that again. <gasps> yeah. <laughs> I That's can never sick. get my car to do that. Let's hear it from the engine itself now. This is something I tried to do now recently. I'm trying to film the car from the front. Right, so uh, yeah, guys, I'm actually going to drive the car because uh, Emma's had a few drinks, so <laughs> she can't drive. No, we like, Emma's a bit of an alcoholic. No, we went for lunch. Admit it, you're an alcoholic. And I had like two Proseccos, but it's not worth the risk, is it? So... So, I'm driving Emma's car today. Ooh, is that scrape? Oh, I hope not. Does that sound, sound a little bit... What was that? That was Sounds like... Sounds like your bumper's hanging on, right? So, yeah, guys, we'll go for a quick little five-minute drive. And 
we'll ask them some questions, I suppose. Anyone that's considering an M3? Have you had any issues with the car? I've had no issues with the car. This has been one of the most reliable cars out of the BM BMs that I've had, actually. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you've had three, haven't you? you yeah. Had the 116. Yeah. White 1 Series convertible, that mm. was. 320 diesel, uh, sport edition it was. Yeah. That was a really nice one. Yeah, it, it was a limited than, edition. It looked better than this, I reckon. Do you know, it looks <laughs> so nice, that car. Any advice you would give an owner that is looking to buy an M3, like things you didn't know yeah. before you bought. What would you like to tell that M3? No, when I, was, when I was buying the M3, a lot of people, what I would say is a lot of people were really negative about me buying the M3. Like some people just looking out for me, but obviously saying, you know, don't buy the car, you, you can't afford the car, it's too much money to run. And people were sort of scaring me into buying the car that I wanted. And um, I've had this car for three and a half years now how reliable this car has been it's just been such a good car even compared mm. to all the other ones and yeah and i was probably one of them people that was scaring you as well a little bit a little she had bit. a 320d before and uh you know emma doesn't she ain't making crazy money you know what enough you? to be able to yeah have the car that i want but that's because obviously that's what i want to do with the money okay so you've had the car for four years and um Obviously, you already mentioned briefly that you're still loving the car. You still oh, yeah, enjoy honestly, it. I'm, I'm not bored of this car at all. And I, I, I would put that down to the fact that you work so much yeah. and you get to drive it. I mean, sometimes you don't drive these cars for days and days and yeah, days yeah. at a time. Yeah, it's true, right? yeah. So, whereas if you'd been driving this car every day for that three or four yeah, years, yeah. you'd probably be a little bit more bored. Yeah, definitely. Like, so. I think for people that do want to buy even their dream car, like consider buying another car like a little mm. daily that you can run about in and you will probably appreciate your car for longer like yeah. my m4 now i've done eighteen thousand miles in a year and uh, i've got to say since owning i bought another daily the other day just a little diesel and uh, when i jump back in the m4 after like five six days yeah, i actually remember you saying my that. god it just feels amazing like it's <laughs> it like is, so it's much like... more appreciation you know <laughs> yeah. you don't have any intentions to sell it not, not right for, now not for another car you're not thinking of another car are you not at the moment no honestly i mean at, the, at one point i was like our oh, m4 but i am really happy with this car like i really yeah. do love it so i don't need anything else yet but so what are you paying on car insurance for people um just let people know. i pay 130 pound a month which is i don't know what that is yearly sorry mm. and just to give you an idea me on my m4 with nine years no claims i've had my license since 2000 and nine so i've had my license what uh, 11 years uh, my insurance on the m4 right now is 3600 pounds this is my track you know Mom. this is your track the way it revs up <laughs> we're still a nimble car man it's an m3 you know it's in its dna to be it agile like as hell whenever i'm in this car i always feel like it's got this sporty low downness to it for some reason immediate throttle response so smooth so you've got adaptive suspension as well that's one thing we didn't yeah, mention yeah yeah so yeah they don't all come with uh, edc so you've got two settings you can stiffen it, it does up. feel as well like it's not i wouldn't say it feels totally a smooth car to, but it's not a bumpy it's not as a bumpy in, okay. car also got like gearbox settings guys so you can change the speed of the gear shifts yeah you've got the m button on the steering wheel which you can configure your own Ooh. traction off that is yeah yeah i mean the m3 like guys it's uh yeah, I mean, this steering feel straight away, it's just, just slides a lot back more going into your hands, on. Like, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It feels a lot more natural than my car. Like, my car does have a heavy, a heavy steering mode, but this feels natural, you know? Definitely hiding the road, it's not, you know, the most interactive drive, but definitely more interactive than the M4. Definitely Instant an interactive drive. Yeah, yeah, definitely, when you compare it to... <laughs> <laughs> to certain cars in its class but see i remember these cars used to be real sketchy like but after driving the bloody m4 you don't get more sketchier than that so i can jump in this car now and it's just got so much traction but i can imagine to some people that they are still a little bit i mean look this is a real bad it's raining right now no it's not raining sorry when it has it's wet like... it's wet outside there's puddles you know mm. and um i can drive this with full confidence and that's what happens when you raise the bar and you drive faster 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 cars and you go down to a more a less powerful car, you can literally just take liberties like Hi. <gasps> Ricky. What? <laughs> RS focus, let's go, mate. <laughs> Is that 
having to pull out behind that. Nah, mate, he's not about this life, man. I think he is, look. Oh, Ricky. Oh, it was the tap. Man's don't know that this is my track. Could never leave me around here. It's not slow now. Hashtag man don't break. Getting out of my car, I can feel like how there's like the lack of torque. Obviously, it's not turbocharged. Mm. So, um, ooh, what's what that? What the hell is oh, that? Oh, jeez, I know that's that's um that's a YouTuber that is. What? That's a YouTuber. <laughs> I swear. Go chase it. <laughs> if it's on the full like gear change thing, yeah, that's when it's quicker, isn't that's it? That's as fast as yeah. So be a bit more aggressive. Yeah. Like a bit more of a thump, a bit more exaggeration with the gear shift. Yeah. One of the uh, biggest standouts on this car right now is. Uh, the throttle response, man, it's just perfect. It's so buttery smooth. As soon as you tap it, it goes. I know with dual oh, clutch. Oh, even that, isn't it? It's like ready. A bit of advice, guys, yeah. I just want to say that, you know I love my BMs, but at the same time, I like to try all the different rivals, you know what I mean? So the fact I've owned an M4 now, you know, I'll now- shouldn't just stick to one brand. No, nah, like just because you're a BMW fanboy, Try a Mercedes, try an Audi, it's drive true. it for yourself, you know? Don't listen to other opinions. There's a lot of people that talk nonsense on internet and on forums. And when you go try the car in real life for yourself, you'll see that it'll be a total different Because you can just go experience. and test drive these cars. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah, so. just, just go experience it, man, because every car has its positives. Trust me, man, they all trump each other in some type of area. And um, you know, you may go back to BMW, but I'm saying like, you know, if you're right now thinking, do I buy an M4 or do I buy a C63, try a C63. Okay, let's uh, end this video, Emma. Is there anything else you want to leave it on? Anything that you can just think in your mind for your M3 that you've not said? Something that would be interesting? Um, just if you want to buy an M3, just bloody get one. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, Emma, I think that's that a it? video, mate. That is a fucking long video. How long? That's a big boy video. What? Yeah. Yeah, but you fucking waffling. Was I? <laughs> I'm just... You were waffling. You were, nah, nah, you nah, were nah, waffling nah. bad. Guys, earlier. listen. Trust me. When I spoke, people listened carefully. When you spoke, what? People were like this. This started daydreaming. <laughs> well, we are going to end the video there. And uh, as always, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please hit the thumbs up. Please subscribe, subscribe. If you're new to the channel. Yeah, please subscribe. We're going to go home right now. And we're gonna shoot a gaming video. We're gonna build a car in the game and we're gonna go race it on like Silverstone or maybe Brands Hat. So yeah, tune into the next video. And guys, I'd really appreciate it. if we could see a thousand likes for this video, that would be Please absolutely amazing. Keep subscribing. It's a, it's a, oh, I can't say it. <laughs> the subscribing <laughs> is what you always say, isn't it? Yeah. That has to be. Emma just forget thinks it. she can get free subs out here. Don't worry about that. You gotta put the work in. There's levels to this game. I don't actually know what I was even going to say then, but I was trying to explain about subscribers. <laughs> right, right, see you later guys. Bye.